what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to create this really cool transition using the grid effect in hit film express so let's get started uh, let's create a new composite chart and uh, the duration can be six seconds long um, and frame rate well you can uh, use 60 if you want you can go with 30 or any of these frame rates and click on ok and the first thing that we'll do is we'll create a new plane layer and we can just call this grid and the color can be white and click on OK and then uh, we will go inside this grid layer go inside the transform and we will rotate this layer by 45 degrees and we will also scale it up um, so that we don't have these black borders around this layer like that and then in the effects we will search for the grid effect under generate you can apply it on this layer and let's open up the grid effect and from the preset we can select the block preset and uh, let's go inside the point 2 and we can change the position to around 50 uh, and on the Y as well you can change that to 50 and you can just play around with these values if you want more of these diagonal shapes in your transition but I'm just going to keep it at 50 and then we can we have the inward option let's just uncheck the inward option we don't want that and there we have the color as well if you want to go with white you can leave it as it is but you have the option to select a color for this transition I'm just going to leave it at white and then we have the border radius we can which we can keyframe so let's just create a keyframe for border radius uh, make sure you create it at the first frame of your video we can set the border radius to zero to start with and then we can move 30 frames forward and we can just increase the border radius and you know try to get this white color back in our in our animation and then we can move 30 frames forward and we can bring the border radius back to zero so now we have something like this okay and then all we have to do is import our images so we can just select this image and I will just scale it down like that and I'll just grab the second image and scale that down as well like that okay now we need to make the transition from one image to the other so I'll just move my playhead where my where this grid is completely white so right at this point I'll just select the first image and go to the end of this clip and I can just click and hold and just trim it where the playhead is and on the second image we can just um, start our second image from that position so now uh, we have transition from one image to the other so that is pretty much it uh, one more thing that I want to show you guys is if you go to the grid effect you can you have the feather and if you crack up the feather X so maybe like uh, around 50 or 60 and you can see that uh, if you scrub to the timeline you will get this uh, completely different transition and that is really cool and uh, same is the case if you crank up the feather Y uh, you'll get the same kind of animation but in the opposite direction so that looks really cool in my opinion so you can just you know uh, play around with that so I'm just gonna set that to zero and because I like this transition much more so that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions do let me know in the comments below other than that if this video is helpful do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one